Cetaceans are just weird animals in general. Fully aquatic mammals best described as fat screaming torpedoes, with bizarre head anatomy and their nostrils pulled up to the top of their heads behind their eyes. Some of them are among the largest animals to ever exist, some of them can live to over 200 years old, and some can dive to incredible depths below the ocean surface. Some ancient cetaceans were particularly odd-looking, Uranodelphus for example had an incredibly long swordfish-like snout. Its upper jaw was around five times longer than the rest of its skull, and toothless past the point where the lower jaw ended. Much like the modern billfish it resembled, it probably used its snout to slash at fast-moving fish, stunning them and making them easier to catch. An early member of the Odontocetes, Squalodon was a basal member of the Platanistoidea branch of the toothed whales, represented today by the river dolphins, but originally widespread throughout marine habitats before the rise of the modern oceanic dolphins. These whales are characterized by both ancestral and modern features. Their teeth are the most evident ancestral feature. At this time in history other toothed whales were evolving simple conical teeth while squalodontidae retained their primitive dentition that their ancestors had developed. Also, their necks are more compressed than their ancestors, the Archaeocetae. Their crania were well compressed, their rostrums were telescoped outward and their skulls show proof of the origin of echolocation. Waipatia is known from New Zealand about 28 to 23 million years ago. About 3 meters in length, it had forward-pointing teeth at the tip of its snout. These sorts of teeth are seen in multiple groups of platonistoid dolphins, and while their exact function isn't known they are convergent with the teeth of some marine reptiles, so they may have been part of a feeding strategy without any exact modern counterparts. Intecetus was one of the larger known toothed whales around its time, but it wasn't the direct ancestor of any living whales. Instead, it was more of an evolutionary cousin to them, part of an older offshoot lineage that lived alongside the early members of modern toothed whale groups. It had a long and unusually wide-based snout, somewhat croc-like in appearance, with sharp pointed teeth at the front and multi-lobed cheek teeth further back. A lack of obvious wear on its back teeth suggests it wasn't using them to chew up its food, and it may have had a fairly specialized diet. Nihohi was a dolphin that lived in the coastal waters around what is now Aotearoa New Zealand during the late Oligocene. It had unusually long tusk-like teeth at the front of its jaws, splaying out almost horizontally forwards and to the sides. These teeth lay too flat to effectively interlock as a fish trap and their fairly delicate structure and lack of wear marks suggests they also weren't used for piercing large prey, sifting through gritty sediment, defending against predators, or for fighting each other. But Nihohi did have a highly flexible neck and the ability to quickly snap its jaws from side to side, although with a relatively weak bite force, suggesting it was primarily tackling small soft-bodied prey that could be easily swallowed whole. The Ganges River dolphins usually swim alone or in pairs and are not known to do acrobatic maneuvers near boats. Little is known about their behavior because they are usually shy around boats and are hard to observe. They are known to breach, however, this is rare. Human activity has played a large role in the reduction of both their native range and population size. The Ganges River dolphin and other freshwater dolphin species have faced declines in population from stressors such as noise pollution, ship traffic, and fishery bycatch. Anthropogenic activity like dam construction and hydroelectric power plants also contribute to their endangered status. They are also endangered due to pollution and overfishing for oil. Globicetus, a 5 meters long beaked whale from the Atlantic coast of Portugal and Spain. Its skull sported an odd bony sphere at the base of its snout, just in front of the melon, which appears to have been larger and more prominent in males than in females. 
Many modern beaked whales also have sexually dimorphic crests, ridges, and domes in their skulls, and these structures may function as sort of internal antlers, a display structure the whales can see via echolocation that signals their size, strength and health to each other. Beaked whales are a family of cetaceans noted as being one of the least known groups of mammals because of their deep sea habitat, reclusive behavior and apparent low abundance. The beard's beaked whale reaches lengths of about 12 meters for males and 13 meters for females. The snout, called a beak, is elongated and lacks all teeth except for one or two sets in the lower mandible, which are called battle teeth for their use in intraspecies conflict. Individuals often bear scars from such confrontations. It is the second largest living species of toothed whale after the sperm whale. Blainville's beaked whales do not capture prey by biting. They use suction feeding to capture prey. They create low pressure in the mouth by retracting tongue, and using throat grooves to expand throat volume. This creates a lower pressure in the mouth than the surrounding waters, allowing the whale to suck in water and hold prey. Beaked whales are among the longest and deepest divers of any cetaceans. Mean diving depth for Blainville's beaked whale is 920 meters with maximum 1410 meters the species dives primarily to forage for food in the deep ocean, usually diving around 800 meters when foraging and can stay underwater for 50 to 70 minutes. Stegenger's beaked whales are typically found in groups of 3 to 4 and sometimes up to 15 animals in a very close group. The groups may have age and sex segregation. Adult males fight each other extensively, and some specimens have been found with healed jaw fractures. Like most species, scars occur on the males and cookie-cutter shark bites are present on both sexes. Beaked whales are unique among toothed whales in that most species only have one pair of teeth. The teeth are tusk-like, but are only visible in males, which are presumed to use these teeth in combat for females for reproductive rights. In females, the teeth do not develop and remain hidden in the gum tissues. The throats of all beaked whales have a bilaterally paired set of grooves that are associated with their unique feeding mechanism, suction feeding. Instead of capturing prey with their teeth, beaked whales suck it into their oral cavity. Suction is aided by the throat grooves, which stretch and expand to accommodate food. Unlike many species of beaked whale, northern bottlenose whales are known to approach and appear curious about vessels, which made them relatively easy targets for whale hunters. Deep diving mammals face a number of challenges related to extended breath holding and hydrostatic pressure. Cetaceans and pinnipeds that prolong apnea must optimize the size and use of their oxygen stores, and they must deal with the accumulation of lactic acid due to anaerobic metabolism. Beaked whales have several anatomical adaptations to deep diving, large spleens, livers, and body shape. Most cetaceans have small spleens. However, beaked whales have much larger spleens than delphinids, and may have larger livers, as well. Tropical bottlenose whale observations indicate they travel in larger groups than any other local species of beaked whales. The size of the pods ranges from the tens up to 100, with 15 to 20 being typical, and the groups appear very cohesive. Their pods are sometimes associated with other species. They have been known to breach the surface, and they normally have visible, but short, blows. Their dives last between 10 and 30 minutes with one individual diving for at least 45 minutes. Cuvier's beaked whale is pelagic, inhabiting waters deeper than 300 meters it has the deepest and longest recorded dives among whales at 2,990 meters and 220 minutes, though the frequency and reasons for these extraordinary dives are unclear. Despite its deep water habitat, it is one of the most frequently spotted beaked whales. The species was named Xiphius cavarostris by Georges Cuvier, 
based on a skull fragment which he believed to be a fossil from an extinct species. He reused the genus name Xiphius from an undetermined species mentioned by historical sources. It is now known to be unique to males of this species. Cuvier's beaked whale seems to have a bad reaction to sonar. Strandings and beachings often occur near naval bases where sonar may have been in use. It has been observed in Hawaii avoiding diving for food or avoiding an area where sonar is in use. Although today there are only three living species of sperm whale, back in the Miocene the group was much common and diverse. With a mouth full of large sharp teeth, Zygophyseter was a type of 7 meters long killer sperm whale. Unlike other sperm whales its jaws extended out from underneath its melon, giving it a more dolphin-like bottlenose appearance. It probably led a similar lifestyle to modern orcas, actively hunting large prey. Since its teeth are large, exhibit wearing not unlike the teeth of modern-day killer whales, and had functionality in both the upper and lower jaws, it was likely a macropredator. Because Alophocetor is known from both the west and east coast of the United States, it is possible that it may have migrated through the Central American Seaway. Back in the Miocene higher sea levels meant that what is now Panama was completely submerged. Fossil evidence suggests that many cetaceans passed through the area as well as some of their main predators such as the Megalodon. However as sea levels dropped the Isthmus of Panama was created, which resulted in this migratory route between North and South America being sealed. The closure of the Central American Seaway is seen as the death knell for many species of prehistoric whales as well as the predators that preyed upon them. Liviaden was a member of a group of macroraptorial sperm whales and was probably an apex predator, preying on whales, seals and so forth. Characteristically of raptorial sperm whales, it had functional, enamel-coated teeth on the upper and lower jaws, as well as several features suitable for hunting large prey. Its total length has been estimated to be about 13 to 18 meters, almost similar to that of the modern sperm whale, making it one of the largest predators known to have existed. The teeth of Liviaden measured 36 centimeters, and are the largest biting teeth of any known animal, excluding tusks. It is distinguished from the other raptorial sperm whales by the basin on the skull spanning the length of the snout. The spermaceti organ contained in that basin is thought to have been used in echolocation and communication, or for ramming prey in other sperm whales. The whale may have interacted with the large extinct shark megalodon, competing with it for a similar food source. The dwarf sperm whale is a suction feeder that mainly eats squid, and does this in small pods of typically one to four members. It is preyed upon by the killer whale and large sharks such as the great white shark. When startled, the whale can eject a cloud of red-brown fluid. Most of what is known of the whale comes from beached individuals, as sightings in the ocean are rare. Many of these stranded whales died from parasitic infestations or heart failure. The dwarf sperm whale is hunted in small numbers around Asia. It is most threatened by ingesting, or getting entangled by marine debris. The sperm whale is a pelagic mammal with a worldwide range, and will migrate seasonally for feeding and breeding. Females and young males live together in groups, while mature males live solitary lives outside of the mating season. The females cooperate to protect and nurse their young. Females give birth every 4 to 20 years, and care for the calves for more than a decade. A mature sperm whale has no natural predators. It is the third deepest diving mammal. The sperm whale uses echolocation and vocalization with source level as loud as 236 decibels underwater. It has the largest brain on Earth, 
more than five times heavier than a human's. Sperm whales can live 70 years or more. Spermaceti, from which the whale derives its name, was a prime target of the whaling industry, and was sought after for use in oil lamps, lubricants and candles. Ambergris, a solid waxy waste product sometimes present in its digestive system, is still highly valued as a fixative in perfumes, among other uses. Sperm whales usually dive between 300 and 800 meters, and sometimes 1 to 2 kilometers, in search of food. Such dives can last more than an hour. They feed on several species, notably the giant squid. Most of what is known about deep-sea squid has been learned from specimens in captured sperm whale stomachs.